I thank God this morning that Jesus came. I thank God this morning that I have the Imago Day. And that's important for us to always know where we came from. The Imago Day is the image of God. And no matter how much we try to tarnish and change that image, it's still there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord this morning. Amen. I know it's been altered. I know we out of order. I know we have an old sin nature, but the e Imago Day is still there. Yes, Lord. It's still there. And to be saved means to be put back together, to be mended, what was to, to mend what was broken and made whole again. Because the Imago Day, all life, all of us, no matter where you are in life, whether you are on Skid Row or whether you in the King's Palace, because of our image that we were created in. We all are valued. No person can be tossed away and discarded as worthless, as being condemned, as being unlovable, as being evil, as being beyond redemption. Mm. Oh, Nobody Hallelujah. can say you worthless. Nobody can say you never measure up. And I understand this morning that a lot of us grew up in families where we were cast aside and counted as nothing. But I'm here to tell you this morning because of the image of God that's still in you, don't mourn and don't alter it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember what Job said? Mm -hmm. You could cut the tree down, yeah. but if you leave the stump, and the stump, praise God, this morning. Get a little sense of moisture. Praise the Lord. What's going to happen? Huh? The tree coming back up. Huh? That's why I love that tree out there in the bedroom. Sometimes I, I, I come in and it's scorching hot out there. In, in the vestibule. And, and the tree begin to wither. The, the, the plant begin to wither. And I say, okay, I'm going to see how far it's going to bow down before I put some water in it. Huh? And it'll, it'll wither all the way over. And then I go and I pour water in it. It don't come right up. And I come in the next day. And it's standing straight up to Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? And no matter how altered we get, praise God, Sodom and Gomorrah, on and on and on. Men, Emeo Day, have been altered. Look, it ain't nothing new. They had big freedoms and everybody else back in those days. And I don't care how marred, praise the Lord, you mar the image that you were created in, it's still dead. And all it needs is the sent of war. Praise the Lord. Don't let nobody tell you they're worthless. Don't let your children come home and say, my teacher told me I don't count for nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Oh Yes, oh. Yes, you do. You created in the likeness and image, and likeness and image is the same word. Mm -hmm. yes, you count. Yes, sir. You count in life. Mm -hmm. You can't be loved. You can't put down evil. You are Work something. You don't have to walk in condemnation or be tossed away. If people tell you that and think they're getting off with something, that ain't worth nothing. This is why Romans 5, 18 and 19 is so important to us this morning. Romans 5, 18 and 19. Huh? huh? It's very important because sin came in and altered us. Oh yeah. It deformed us. Yes, it did. We didn't want God. We didn't like God. We didn't want to be nowhere around God. And I don't care how deformed you are. If you leave the stump and water come. 
that tree gonna grow again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't care how long it's been a stump. Because the life is in the tree. Praise the Lord. And Romans this morning. Huh? We won't cast people out. We won't say that out. they ain't worth nothing. Romans 5, 18, therefore it's by the offense of one. That's right, Adam. The offense of one. Judgment came upon how many men? All, All of us. us. To condemnation. Praise the Lord. Even so, so if you accept your condemnation from Adam and you lost in the world, then when you smell the water, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, came on all men. Even so, God says, so if you're going if you're gonna have that criteria, if you're gonna have a law like that, even so by righteousness of one, mm -hmm. the free gift. That's why I don't like the sin. I do sin, but I don't like the sin. You know why? Because sin cost me something. I never committed a sin that it didn't cost me something. I don't care if it was a small sin or a big sin. Sin will cost you because sin demands wages. Praise the Lord. Even so by righteousness of one, I lack free gifts. That's why I like to go to them smallest boys and pick five dollars. Huh? And go in there and they have all that. Well, I know y'all like it too. Come on this morning. Huh? Golden Corral is popular in this world, huh? And you go in there and you say, I'm going to have some fish right now. All with my little three dollars I pay. Then I'm going to the dessert table and I'm going to get the chocolate cake and I'm coming back and then I'm going to get the pie. Why? The free gift. The free gift. You got to find something you like in them places. Huh? And then you can go drink all you want. Then you can go eat all the ice cream. Long as you in there. It's the free, don't be smiling, Taylor. It's the free gift. We like that. Praise the Lord. And all they tell you, just don't try to take nothing out. Huh? And we still do. Huh? We still do. That's why the ladies go in there with their big old purse. I know the game. But you know what? It's the free gift. It's the free gift. Upon men unto justification of life. And we all been justified. Because of the image. For as by one man disobedience, many were made sin. So by the obedience of one, praise the Lord shall many be made righteous. The very act of salvation is only possible because of the fact that we are the imago Dei, the image of God. We are all challenged to be a representation of Christ. Every day, every way, the clothes you put on, the way you talk, it's a challenge. Because the culture wants you and a culture want me, and they want us to look like them and talk like them and represent Christ. You can't do that. The Bible tell you how to dress as a Christian. Tell you that your vocabulary, your speech ought to be what? Seasoned with salt. Come on. I understand, you say, well, you know, I can look like the world and be in Christ. No, you can't. Because you're not representing the image. Praise the Lord. And salvation makes it possible because of the image. And you have to face that challenge every day to be a representative of Christ, to resemble Christ. Remember at the, at the feast, they came out and they took note that the men had been with Jesus. Praise the Lord, huh? The people ought to see that you, the biggest, one of the greatest compliments I ever received when I worked on the riverfront was an old man came up to me and never knew nothing about me. And he said, I can tell you a praying man. I had said nothing to him. I had done nothing to him. 
but he just came, and that's the, one of the greatest compliments I ever received in my life. He said, I could tell you a praying man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can anybody tell you've been with Jesus? Jesus. Lord, huh? Amen. The quickening spirit. Paul said, we come into the world natural with a physical body. And when we come into the world with a physical body, even from one in two months, what we do in the middle of the night. Because the physical body wants some milk, want to eat. Huh? And we become a slave to that physical body. You poor, poor mom and daddy got to get up in the middle of the night because the baby don't know it's night. And he and all he wants is what that physical body wants, some food. And ever since we come into the world in the natural, we become slaves of the natural. But it's all under sin. It's all under sin. But I thank God for our Savior this morning. I thank God when they asked Jesus, uh, we would see the Father. Praise the Lord. Huh? Remember when Philip asked him, we would see the Father. Huh? He said, when you see me, you've seen the Father. Huh? And I thank God. I thank God this morning as I hurry on and see, you know, that, that we all understand. But it's all good. You know why? Because God has accepted the consequences of our sins. And he didn't only accept the consequences of our sins. He restores us back to his image. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, we are new creations yes. Yes. in Christ. What's new? Huh? We go back to the image of God. Mm -hmm. Notice he saved, he, he healed some people in the Bible, but then he said, your sins have made you whole. That hmm. I means I'm, I'm, I'm returning you to your original likeness of me. Mm -hmm. I made you whole. The new creature that's made whole desires fellowship with God. The new creature that has been turned back to the image of God. He loves mercy. He loves grace. He loves fellowship. He don't look on his own self, but he look on things of others. In verse 47, Adam from the earth was limited. Praise the Lord. And don't get me wrong. Hear me right this morning. A whole lot of men and a whole lot of women in this world system today are achieving a whole lot of things through human effort, through soul power. Oh yeah, they're accomplishing things they never would think, but they're still limited because Adam was limited. But the second Adam, Christ from heaven, is unlimited. Praise the Lord. You know, if Satan could have put a number on Christ's atonement, he would have been there dead. Mm -hmm. All right, your blood can only cover Noah's generation. Mm -hmm. Your blood can only cover Moses' generation. Mm -hmm. Your blood can only cover David's generation. But he couldn't. Because by one man offenses, all was condemned. So by one man obedience, mm -hmm. all is justified. 